All right, so this is just some daytime, and then I'm going to have free nighttime, I think. Third day of the school trip. Shopping district in front of the station, Yagaruk... Uh, Hagaruk Hagakure Ramen. I actually don't ramen my, like... So I don't personally don't like ramen myself. Mm, oh, man, this is really something. How does he eat with that suit on? This place serves the best ramen in town. When we were filming, a lot of times I came here instead of eating box lunches. Hmm? You're not hungry? Um... <laughs> what happened last night? I don't remember much about it. Uh, I'm really sure... I'm I'm still standing by my th theory that Yosuke drugged, drugged them. For, for some reason, that just makes sense. Oh, I think the two of us fell asleep quick. I heard it got pretty wild, though. I see. I don't remember at all. <laughs> ah, this flavor never changes. I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrates, so being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. Hmm. Hmm. This is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. Hmm. See? See? Ah, I think I know this. Another bowl, please. Keep the noodles hard. Kind of reminds me of one place I went to in like um Northridge that served my um, barbecue. I'll have the hug of curry bowl. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not being weirded out by the giant bear costume guy. The hug of curry bowl is a normal menu item now. Oh, I should have asked. Oh well, this is just as good. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Oh, come on, he, she, it hasn't bothered her that much. Sure, no prob. See those signing boards? My autograph's up there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. Hmm. Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. Yeah, I've, se I've seen those in like places in Hollywood and other ways. I think King Taco also has a couple of places like that. You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. That's a good point. I guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. Yeah. Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? Oh my god, he's right. Huh? Where's my bowl? You didn't eat it, did you? Y you didn't finish, so... <laughs> Why did you stop? Jeez. I was going to finish it! Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many have you eaten? I don't know how to count. <laughs> what? You little liar. Give me that check. One, two, ten bowls? Yuki-chan's makes it eleven. <laughs> Wow. I was going to finish mine. Uh. There, there. Like, if I wanted to be I'm a sorry mental jet. I'm interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. I was, I was going to try to be a mental jet and say, like, oh, maybe this is where they're going to offer me an opportunity to, like, give her mine. And then, like, I'm going to need to eat at home, so then it'll, like, cost me time. But it'll let me, let me get closer to Yukiko. But I guess they don't want that. Oh, uh, already? Uh. I thought the trip was gonna be a bore, but now that it's over, I actually had a good time. Okay. Hey, let's buy a souvenir at the station. I, I bet Nanako-chan will be expecting one. Okay. Um... I have no idea what a Moki is. So that probably means that's what it is. A t-shirt... I actually think she would like a t-shirt. Yeah, actually I'm gonna give her a t-shirt. All right, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. But that would also mean I need to know her size. Yo. Hey, Ted. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little... <laughs> D dude. Hey, he ain't moving. Did he have a heart attack? Jesus. I I is he hibernating? 
don't tell me. It, it's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? Man, that guy, uh, that Naoto and that one guy over there must be confused. Are you serious? Teddy! <coughs> ah. My tummy's heavy. Leave it behind. I ate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, Yukiko, wait for me. Hmm. Wait, so shouldn't someone? Hey, I really can't move, and I don't have the money for a return ticket. Oh, come on, man. Farewell, Teddy. We shall leave you here, along with our memories of youth. Jeez, that, that seems like a jerkish move. Safely passed by. So that actually, I think that one is actually one that is intended to at least, like, develop Naoto's character. That's why I'm saying it's not that one was not a load of crap, but damn that one was long. Or who knows, maybe I just stopped to talk too much. Welcome home. Did you have fun? Uh I guess come with me next time. That's Yep, for sure. Um, I wanna go to Destiny Sea too. There's this roller coaster that goes whoosh into the water and <laughs> Nanako is talking about it happily. It's too bad that doesn't boost her social link because I, well, it's at a point where it can't get boosted. Wow, thanks. All right, hold on, I'm being interrupted. Uh -huh. Thanks. All right, and I'm back from my interruption. Nanako thanks you out of modesty. Ah, oh, dang, I guess, she, I guess I didn't get the right gift. Oh, hi, Dad. Smoke. Oh, you're back. We just missed each other, huh? Mm -hmm. Look! My big bro got me a souvenir! Hey, nice! Did you remember to thank him? <laughs> yeah, that, that was an unintentional pun. Of course! <laughs> I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. I had money. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. Yep. Got girls left and right. By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. Yeah, I figured this guy would actually know about their, her, or because, um, like, uh, that he's a detective. You talk to him much? Uh, yes. He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Yeah, that surprised the hell out of me when I found that out. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. All right. The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. Right. Adults can be a selfish bunch. Right. Dojima has a kind look in his eyes. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. Why don't you take a bath? Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. All right. Nanako, can you get the bath ready? Hmm. So, yeah, they're just gonna skip over the bathing scene. Of course. Okay. School trip's over and it's a peaceful Sunday morning. Nothing of note happened while you were away. What should you do today? First of all, I need to go and purchase some useless crap off the TV. I mean, don't you? Fucking off the TV, man! Uh, this guy. Um, uh, someone told me that this guy apparently was in uh, Persona 3, and that actually leads me into something else. Uh, when talking about... Ooh, alright, so a weapon for Teddy. Oh my god, I'm actually really tempted to get that Inibot Trout. So... Uh... 
Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna get the bear claws. But I, I gotta wonder how familiarity with this, with the style of these games, can really benefit you. Because I just got off like uh, uploading a, uh, a video that I uploaded today, and people were talking about like you did a really stupid thing in choosing to lose a move, and I was like, well, what? It's just a move like you spend a turn, and you all you get is like a 50% boost in fire attacks. That's it. But then they told me, no, it's a move that permanently increases your uh, fire attacks by 50%. And I'm like, what? But it's in the attacks. And I'm like, oh, it's like counter. But it doesn't fucking tell you if, it, if it's a, a move like that or not. And I think with a lot of people, if they played like something, maybe Persona 3, I haven't played that yet. But maybe Persona 3 had something where... Uh, they fucking knew that. I remember Devil Survivor, it did have a lot of things like, oh, your attack gets boosted by this, but it would actually tell you it's not an attack. What's well, the news? Sure is depressing. For some, someone to write off a man's de a person's death like it was nothing, it's a crying shame. Hear that right? They had a special on the crime circumstances and whatnot. I don't think he really knows what it means when a person dies. Yes, in time, I have a small request, but if you're busy, ever taking a walk around here at night? It's sure it's nice in the day and all, but at night you really you get a real change of scenery, and I enjoy that. No city lights, all the stores are closed, and I hear it's so quiet you can hear the river. Only problem is that you gotta watch your step. It's so dark you don't know where your feet are landing. I suppose you can carry a flashlight, but it kind of ruins the mood. Think it'd be all right if I had a lamp, though. And e but even if but even that would be a pain in the neck to hold, and the wind would keep blowing it away. So I was thinking an eternal lamp uh, would be some might be nice. I could find you one. You know where to find one? Are you, ha are you serious? I'd be happy. Bring me one. Uh, wait, I'll have a little something waiting for you in return. An eternal lamp. That, wouldn't that run on an eternal fuel source? Okay, let's see. How about the lamp? You don't have to go out of your way or nothing. Uh, it's not like an eternal lamp is just laying on every street corner. Uh, it'd be... Oh! It'd be a different story if this were one of the games my grandchildren play, though. Okay. Okay. When did it decide to cool down? The breeze here by the river feels good. These days, uh, these days are meant for taking walks. I guess my daughter's family just can't understand that. Hmm. I guess she, she's like me and the own doors type. All the incidents that had been hurting our tourism, I hear. But I don't think we had that many tourists here to begin with. At least our store is still doing well. And that's all thanks to my wife's skills. Hmm. Alright. Oh, the cat. Do I need to feed him? It's still hungry. You've tried giving us food. Feed the cat. Red goldfish? Yes. Fed the fat. Fed the cat. It's eating quite happily. It seems very relaxed. Maybe you should come by and feed it another time. Alright. See, hu still hungry. Giving it some food. Give it the red goldfish? Yes. Fed the cat. Murbling quite happy. It seems very relaxed. Maybe you should come by and feed it another time. The cat seems to be holding something in its mouth. What is it? Antibiotic gel. So what the fuck? That's it? For all the time I spent, I just got that. I guess that's something I'm supposed to get passively and probably even finish by the end of the game, but jeez. Oh my god, I spent so many days on this shit. I could have fucking boosted my damn... Ah, uh, my fucking... What's it called? Any of my stats at fucking... Um... Damn it, what is it called? Ah, uh, fucking... I ya yeah! To boost my freaking stats, and I f did it feeding a cat. Oh, whoa! Somebody new here! Uh, Namatame. If you don't need anything, could you please let me be? I want to be by myself. Oh, wow. My young sister uh, shouted at me. Why, did you, why didn't you pick the same snack as me, she said. What's so wrong about like, about me liking cookies? To be honest, I have another request for you. Think you could help me again. What's your request? I found another way that I'm not like my sister. This time I need a, a leaf pouchette. You think you could find one for me like you did last time? I'll find you one. Okay. Carbon copy part two. Okay, let's see. Leaf Pouchette. Playing a game that was a Cupid holding one. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, okay. Now I'm gonna go into town. So who to get a social link in here? Oh, wait! Shit. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm, I'm wondering when to actually fulfill the Emma request. I think I might wait for a rainy night. Um, yeah, I'm actually thinking I'm going to wait for a rainy night until to, to fill, fulfill the Emma request. 
Okay, looks like Yukiko's here. Looking for one of those dishes myself. Oh, still looking for those scales. Okay. And I was talking about, like, Devil Survivor familiarity with terms. Well, there's something else that also came to mind recently. And it's the manual for this game. I'm kind of accustomed to game manuals being now very worthless because of online guides and stuff. But I read through the Persona 4 manual. It's actually really good. It explains a lot of the things that goes down. It explains how encounters work, you know, how to equip everything. You know, this actually works pretty well. It's everything an RPG manual needs to be. But the problem is it doesn't explain passive moves. Like, it actually has most of the best moves. Like, it has offensive skills all the way down to Mumu Dune, which apparently is a darkness attack that hits all enemies with high odds. Like, I should really have this on me at all times to know what these moves are, but it really doesn't show, like, passive moves. Like, I don't see, even see counter on this. And counter, I only figured out out of guesswork. But anyway, I sh I'm gonna view the compendium because I was like, wait, somebody pointed this out to me. Why don't you just get Black Frost out of the, out of the compendium? And yeah, I can just get him. But it looks like I got a late version of him, so I don't have the move which I kind of worthlessly threw away. Uh, but let's see. I might also want to get something else. I need to get. Uh, oh wait, wait, Devil Emperor Empress. Jeez, this is tricky. Always trying to get something of whatever arcana, and I think I came in here ultimately for little to no reason, which is sad. It'll be a while until I can get to level 49 since I'm not entering the TV at all. And I'm actually thinking instead of Yukiko, it's probably better off if I go Risei. Actually, I'm thinking I'm going to get Risei up to at least level 5 or 6, and then get Kanji up to level 5 or 6, and then start maxing out Yukiko. But I'm only going to get Yukiko up to level 9, and then stop, and then, like, hope that group activities will eventually get her to just, uh, like, uh, get up to the point where I can finish her up. All right, Queen Mab, so I can spend the day with Rise and that productive time. Where shall we go? Look happy, so happy. The hill overlooking town. Came here at Rise's request as she says she likes it here. When I first got to town, I used to sit here and do nothing. I would just listen to the sound of the river, the sounds of birds, the sound of the rain, and I could forget Rise and find myself that way, but... Senpai, have you ever thought that you're pushing yourself too far, or that you were just acting? Uh, I, I'm going to try to relate to her, so I'm going to say all the time. And hell, actually, I am all the time, because I'm <laughs> because I'm not really portraying my own actions. I'm portraying, like, what do I need to do to get the fucking romantic core response to where the girls come after me or whatever, for saying very little. Really? Then you might even be a better actor than me. But I see, you've been through a lot, too. Seems Risei is a bit relieved. I feel like I've been able to relax after coming to Iniba. Meeting all of you, laughing together, watching the store, reading comics, playing with a cat. And I was at my parents' house, I was on my best behavior around them. But, oh, but Grandma doesn't ask me for, doesn't ask me anything. You know, like why I quit or what I'm thinking of doing next. She just talks to me about tofu. She says, I'm like tofu. When I had to I had to ask her what that meant, she said the way she explained it, tofu looks weak and fragile, but it's actually pretty resilient. Even though it stands out because it's not like other foods, it can be mixed in with any recipe or flavor. Tofu is incredible. I'm nothing like that at all. I I was actually bullied at school before I made my debut. I wasn't uh, good at talking and always looking at my feet. I was alone the entire time. But I didn't have a problem with that. No one expected anything of me. Then the application of my relative the application my relative sent without telling me passed the first audition. I wasn't interested in being an idol, but I wanted the chance to change myself. And just by chance I won. <laughs> when it happened, I panicked, thinking I should turn their offer down. Then I thought, if I appeared on TV, I could make friends. That was literally the only reason I went through with it. After a while, I realized something. The person everyone likes, the one they say hi 
to me on the street. That's not the real me. Reset is the one everyone likes. The fictional character they sold to the pu they sold the public. It's the same with you, isn't it? You don't have to deny it. I won't be mad. You're with me right now because I'm reset, right? No. I'm here with you because you're reset. <laughs> I'm sorry, that wasn't a fair question. But I'm happy you said so. Risei smiles weakly. When I got back to school after my debut, no one bullied me. I was happy at first, with people I didn't even know talking to me. But they weren't suddenly interested in Risei Kujikawa. They wanted to hang out with Reset. The bullying stopped, but I felt like none of them saw the real me. In my heart, I've always thought, this isn't the real me. Funny, huh? How I was the one who wanted to change and... But none of that matters now. I'm done being reset. And now I have people who know the real me. Plus, I have the power that I can help everyone. I love that. This time, I'm gonna change you in a reset that everyone can like. Keep an eye out for her, senpai. Risei is smiling. You feel that you understand Risei even more. Alright. Alright, level 5! Alright. So now I'm going to focus more on Kanji to try to... Well, I know that from level 5 above, when you have the persona, it seems like... You only have to go with them twice until you hit like level 8 and then it's like 3 times. And then I think level t getting up to level 10 was something like 4 times. Risei Kujikawa reached level 5. Power of the Great Personas of the Lovers Arcana has grown. Oh shit, no I didn't gain later, the next power. Shit. You walked Risei to her house and went home. Oh, social link with Dojima time. I went shopping today. The food is full of fridge. The food is full of fridge. That's amazing. Ah, jeez. I really want to actually read a book, but... S shit, this is a top opportunity for three things at once. Dojima Link... Oh, wait, I, I don't think Dojima Links actually increase based on story events. It doesn't seem like they do. Rec uh, Nanako does, but this guy... Oh, wait, and I'm pretty sure someone's going to get killed again, and then I'm going to have no opportunity, so I should probably do this while I can. Hey. What's, uh, what's wrong? Got bored? Omi Okane. We spent time with Dojima. Yes. Ah. Looks a bit happy. I think we're at rank 9 with Dojima, so... This is just probably going to be time. Oh, no, it isn't. Dojima is staring intently at something. It looks it looks like data about cars. Sorry to bother you. Sorry, but my hands are full here. Okay, I know what he's doing, and he's probably not going to buy a car. I'm going to offer him support. <laughs> Dojima is smiling wryly. Oh yeah, I was thinking about this when talking with Nanako just now, but I feel like she's changed a bit lately. I don't know how to put it. She's stronger. I feel like I'm being left behind. Ever since you came, this house has become well... Homie. A house just isn't a big box. It's a place for a family to live together. Laughing, crying, fighting, spending most of your time, spending most of your lives together. A warm place. I forgot what that was like. I wanted to get back more than... I wanted to get that back more than anything, and yet, I feel like I've been dodging it the whole time. You understand why? Yeah, I think he's preoccupied with uh, murder. Mm -hmm. In the right, in the end, that's just an excuse. Dojima is smiling peacefully. We've been in the same place, uh, but we are not connected. You've brought the two of us together. The rest is my problem. Where do I draw the line with this? I feel Dojima's quiet determination. Is this rank nine or ten? Oh, it's eight. Shit. <laughs> the Ryotori, the Ryotoro Dojima Social Link has reached level 8. Your power to create personas of the Hierophant Arcana has grown. Ah, screw this, I'm drinking tonight. Nice, you're drinking with me. Alcohol free, of course. 
Pass out before me and you're under arrest. Got it? All right. I'm not sure if this is particularly healthy. You drank with Dojimon until he passed out and went to your room. Wait, did he go to your room or I did? That was a weirdly worded statement. Okay, who is going to get to the next level? Her. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of tired. You're going to practice, right? Desperate for you to have your company. Will you spend the afternoon at the drama club? Decide later because I need to beat huh? Andre Almeida. Are you even trying? It's okay, I guess. Don't slack off too much. What will you do after school? I will go to that, by the way. But I must, I must take on the challenge of Andre Almeida. Um. Um, nice coon. Well, well, today, if you have time, um, if you have time, tell me. Bye. Yukiko seems very nervous. Maybe we hang out with Yukiko after school. Nope. I can hang out with her almost any day. Um, has the dialogue changed? I would assume after that trip it would change a bit, but I'm not sure how many of the dialogue boxes actually have. Oh! I hope you all enjoy the school trip. Don't you all feel a little more mature now that you visit a, an urban environment like that? By the way, that cute bear that I had on the trip? Where'd you get that? I'm so tempted by animals with such unique designs. Speaking of bears, some species feed on salmon, and speaking of salmon, I have an interesting fact for you. They're actually a white fish. The orange color comes from the fact from the pigment of shellfish. Oh, that's interesting. Salmon roe is also affected by shellfish, hence salmon colors is affected by its environment. Hey, <laughs> the same thing goes for girls. I hope the city brought you ladies much closer to becoming women. You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. Okay, so I'm gonna have to, have the incident finally been resolved? I'm gonna have to check through lines of dialogue to see if any of them are, snor girls are noisy. Okay, first years. Huh, many opportunities to make my move. Big shock there. Hmm. Oh wait, where did the other girl go? I'd rather go to college and get a job, but the colleges around here aren't very good. If I get a job first, where would I get one, Juness? Huh, it's not too late. I'll try to get you closer to Yosuke. <laughs> okay. It looks like Yosuke is an opportunity, but first and foremost, Andre Almeida! Oh, hi. Oh, it's you again. Looking for payback? Is that a challenge? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No fit in the script, another categorization puzzle. This one's not for baby school, though. Get it loose. Google is important. Okay. Protractor. Belongs to group A and it's human motion. Oh yeah. Alright. Okay. Now this one I didn't get because I completely misinterpreted one of the answers. I thought that said they are indefinite articles, but this is a different there. This is their indefinite articles, as in they as in uh uh the di the the indefinite articles that belong to them. Two of them are Gorilla and Coffee Maker, which the indefinite article is A, but Egg be or and but Egg Beater and Elephant have the indefinite article N, so they're indefinite article. And guess what? It was in group Avalanche is in group B because the indefinite article for Avalanche is N. Boom! Though you got them both. That's two rails in a row. So you're also on fire, dog. Yo, that's impressive. Even though I probably should just expect a one to kin li like you to have no problem. So what you saw that gorilla has three syllables, but that but was in group A. So it had to be that group B used all used un. Most definitely knowing your indefinite article usage. Here's some fat loot just for you. You received a snuff soul. Ooh, it's actually not bad. Something you can do very passively that takes no time. That's actually- that's better than the fucking one that took me a lot of time to get those fucking fish. Jeez. Uh, where is it? Yeah, that's not- honestly, that's not bad for something that's you can deal with very passively. Uh, is there more dialogue here? Why am I going to college? Cram school? Oh yeah, I can teach at the cram- at- teach at the schools, but then my understanding has to be at- Godlike or saintly, I think. Anyway, um, I think that's all I can really do now. So I'm gonna come to practice. Since I have got to Garusu, can I attend the drama club? Is there anything I else have to do? Until I get a high enough knowledge, I don't think I can. T 
talk with Naoto. Uh, nothing really by the river, at least I don't think. And nothing in town as far as I know, so drama club practice. Okay. Yumi looks so happy. 